So in this video, you will learn what bleed is, why you want to use it, and how you're going to apply it to your designs. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer, and this is Dia Graphics. So here I've made an illustration to show you what bleed is and why it's very important to use when you are printing a design that goes all the way to the edge of the paper. So this dotted line right here is showing the document size and this red line right here is showing the bleed. So bleed is basically when you add a buffer to your design so it extends beyond the paper size. We are doing this to avoid getting white edges around the design if there's a small misalignment when we're going to crop or trim the design. So let me show you what I mean. So on the left side we have an artwork with no bleed. A document like this would look like this. Simply a design where the background goes all the way to the edge. Now let's go back. So let's say we are going to send this to a professional company that is going to print and trim the design. But the machine that is going to trim the design is misaligned just a tiny little bit. What will happen then? So let's zoom in so we can have a look. So here we have our crop marks. These will tell our printer where we want our design to get trimmed. But if the trimming machine has a misalignment, it may trim a little bit off to the side. I will illustrate this by using a guideline. So this guideline right here is showing where the misaligned trimming machine actually trims our design, even though we told it to trim right here. So as you can see, we end up getting a very slight white line right here. And this will absolutely show on your design when you get it back from print. And this issue is why we always are using bleed when we are going to print a design. Even if the design isn't going all the way to the edge like this purple background right here, just use bleed anyway, it doesn't hurt. So now let's go to the right side to see what happens when we're using bleed. And as you can see right here, even though we are cropping a little bit over the crop mark, we will still get a purple background all the way to the edge. This is because we have a buffer and a document with bleed will look like this. So it's basically just a regular document where the document size goes to this black line right here. And then we add a little bit of bleed that goes to this red line right here. So now you're probably thinking, how do you add this bleed to your document? And it's very simple. So let's open up a new document. Go to File, go to New. And from here you can choose any document size that you want for your design. The only thing you need to change is down here where it says Bleed. And here we want to add 3 millimeters of bleed. 1, 2, 3. And for people using inches, just add 0 0.12 inches. Now click OK. So now we end up with a document like this. Simply a regular document with 3 millimeters or 0 0.12 inches of bleed. So now you're simply just creating your design as you would always. But if something on your design is going to the edges, instead of stopping right here, you simply stop right here. This can be background colors, maybe a text you want to spill out over the edge, a pattern, or simply just an object. It doesn't matter. If it goes to the edge, simply just spill over at least to the red line. When you're done with your design, it's important that you export your design to a PDF with crop or trim marks. Let me show you how to do this. So when you're done with your design, go to File, go to Save as Copy. From here you simply go to Save as Type and find PDF. Then name the file and click Save. From here you will get this pop-up right here. And here it's important that you go to Marks and Bleeds. And inside marks and bleeds, you want to check this checkbox right here that says trim marks. And when use document bleed settings is checked, it will use the bleed settings that we set up when we started the new document. From here simply just save the PDF. And I've made some examples to show you what the final PDF looks like with crop marks. So let's go to the PDFs. So here I have a PDF with no bleed. So let's zoom in a little bit. As you can see, if I send this to print, the trimming machine will trim right here. And if it's misaligned just a tiny bit to the left, because there's no buffer, I will get a white edge right here. Now let's go to the document with the bleed. And let's zoom in. So here you can see I have 3 millimeters of bleed. So even if the trimming machine is misaligned just a little bit, I will still get the purple background all the way to the edge. So now let me summarize. You only use bleed on printed projects. It will not make sense to use bleed on projects that is only used digitally because they will not get trimmed physically. Also bleed is only necessary if something on your design goes all the way to the edge. But just to be safe, I recommend using bleed always if it's a printed design. 
I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.